Can we listen to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? None of us have ever met Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. None of us have actually seen Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No, but we do have His words. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us a special book, the Qur'an. And in that book, every sentence, every word, every letter, every detail comes from our Creator. I'm the author of Noor Kids. So when we read Noor Kids books, I, Brother Amin, I'm the one who wrote it. And every book in the whole world is just like Noor Kids. It has an author, someone like me. But there's one book that's special, literally only one book the Qur'an, whose author, the one whose words, every letter, every detail, it's from our Lord Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When I was a kid, I used to think it was for dinner parties because when we would have dinner parties, my dad would say, Amin, why don't you recite? And then I would recite and people would be very happy and they'd say, oh, you did a good job. Oh, you did a good job. Oh, you did a good job. But when I learned that the Qur'an is the actual words of our creator, it changed my life. Every chapter, every sentence, every word, every letter in this book is from our Creator. These are His words. Grandma, this must be the most special book in the entire world, says Shireen. Grandma says, yes, sweet pea. Sister Amal Kasir is amazing. Before we have her on, I want you to get a little bit of a taste of the latest poem that she recently published. My second grade vocabulary tumbles down with the minarets. My Arabic is broken. A nation at war. The heart of a grieving mother whose grandchild hasn't called in years. Tell us a little bit about your journey as a poet. When did you start and what are practical ways that a young boy or girl can start practicing to become a poet or to sharpen their capabilities? The very, very first piece of advice that I'd give, and this is advice that I wish I heard when I was younger, be willing to write things that aren't perfect, but are honest. I heard once, the heaviest thing at the gym is the front door. And that's because it's hard to just get in. It's the same thing with writing. The hardest part is just sitting down and getting started. The title of it is The Great Escape of Mr. Date. They say that it is the best month of the year. Nay, I say no. This for a date is the month of fear. Mr. Date sliced open himself, took out his own seed. He slid down from the date box and crawled across the hall, looked behind him one last time and said goodbye to his family and all. Then squash the toddler's feet. The wisdom of Marty the Miswalk. Patient as could be, wouldn't you if all you smelled were smelly teeth? Marty the Miswak is doing this for the Sunnah, service to the fasting person. Small mouths, big mouths, wide mouths. No, for me, I like the smelly ones. The smelly ones need the most help. And me, Marty Miswak, I am a helper. Don't you remember what our Holy Prophet, peace and blessings be on him, said? To smile is charity. And if that is the case, I'm a millionaire. Did you ever get scared? Of course I got scared. My cousin told me the night before one of my biggest performances. It was on the TEDx stage and there were like 5,000 people. And I was the only Muslim woman on that whole stage for this whole 12 hour program. And I was so scared that I'd misrepresent Islam. And my cousin told me the dua, the dua of Musa alayhi salam, which is Rabbi shrahli sadri wa yassirli amri wahlul which means, Oh Allah, stand for me my chest and make this task easy and untie the knots from my tongue so that they may understand. 